where the wild things are. And another. His mother called him wildly, and Max said, I'll eat you up, so he was sent to the bed without eating anything. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines, and the wall became the world all around. And in... Ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to the to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, he roared their terrible roar and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. So Max said, be still and tame them with a magic trick. For staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him the king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild run to start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of, of where the wild things are. But the wild thing cried, oh, please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so, and Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roar and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. So back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot.